Happy New Year, Happy 2024. I hope that this is the year that you take your professional career to the next level, that you take your life to the next level by achieving your goals. Now, talking about goals, this is the reason why I decided to make this video uh, today on January 1st, as I'll be sharing with you some of the goals that I have in regards to certifications and trainings that I plan to take on this year. Now, this is going to be a very helpful short video. So just to kind of give you an idea in case you haven't planned your certifications for this year uh, that you can use as a reference uh, for your case. So without wasting any more time, let's just take a look at my plan for this year. The first certification exam I'm going to take will be Cisco and Core. And you probably know that I'm CCIE and to maintain the CCIE status, I uh, have to recertify to take an exam every three years. Uh, there are actually two ways or different ways to keep your CCIE status uh, up to date is by taking an exam, an eligible exam, or by uh, taking training or courses uh, that will give you some credits, some points, uh, the continuing education credits. Now, in this case, I want to take the exam also because I've been receiving a lot of message from you guys uh, that you would like to have a training related to Cisco Encore exam and also to cover the different technologies that are found in this exam, such as uh, multicast, wireless, SDA. So this is going to be actually a great opportunity for me to look into the exam, the questions, and so that I can prepare the training uh, more targeted for those individuals who want to take the exam. Okay, so I'll be using my framework to study or to take the Cisco Encore exam. I believe that that framework uh, it has for more than 100 days. And for me, the sweet spot is to take the exam in 90 days. So uh, I was looking at the exam topics uh, and most of the things I'm quite comfortable with probably things related to wireless that I don't dive deeper uh, in great, great, great long time. But things like SDA, SD-WAN, uh, security, routing, overlay technologies, uh, multicast, all of this I'm comfortable is just, okay, taking a look at the questions or how the approach to take the exam, but a sweet spot for me is 90 days and I believe that I'll be ready to take the exam in 90 days. So on March, just stay tuned for news on this. Um, I'll be using the network simulators. I already covered a video on how to take, how to use these network simulators. And also I'm a big believer that you learn by doing so lab 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 is the best way to validate what you really know what you're really learning so i'll be using pnet i'll also be using cisco cml uh, because uh, some of the things some of the technologies i won't be able to host on my computer uh, more precisely that's going to be uh, for SDA so software defined access because of DNAC so DNAC is a beast I believe that the minimal requirement is around 64 CPUs so right now my host can't uh, take that much so I'll be using Cisco CML for that and I'll also be using Cisco dcloud so this is also a cloud environment from Cisco that you can use for free now, another tool that I'll be using is Cisco Packet Tracer. Uh, I know that Packet Tracer, if you're already familiar with Packet Tracer, might say, well, this is for CCNA. Actually not. So Packet Tracer is a very great tool as an emulator that allows you to kind of play with the technology on an easy to understand step by step. Uh, and the reason why I'll be using Packet Tracer is because of wireless. So wireless, I believe that you really need hands-on. And they have sold that Cisco Packet Tracer, I believe version 8, they already have access points, they have wireless LAN controllers. So I expect that Cisco will be making questions about 
uh, how to use these products or the technologies in these products in the exam. So hands-on experience is a must. I also have uh, access points, uh, physical access points. So hopefully I don't have to uh, buy any wireless LAN controller for that. So that's the reason I'll be using Packet Tracer and also the access point. Now, obviously, because I'll be taking the exam, uh, I need the Cisco official certification guide. I already have it. And I've been looking into the contents. Um, again, nothing crazy there. Uh, probably I have just to dive deeper into concepts related to wireless and also some basic things like um, FIB, RIB, forward error code, FEC. So this kind of things that I don't work with on a daily basis is just understanding how the technology works. So the basics, so I have to go back to the basics. And I'll also be using Enki. I already also covered a video about Enki. So Enki is a great tool because it allows me to focus on which technologies or which questions I'm not good at. Uh, so for instance, I'll be taking the questions from the book and import into Enki. So the ones that I'll feel more comfortable with, well, I can just forget them or not seeing uh, them uh, regularly as the ones that probably I'll be struggling the most. So that's the reason why I'll be using Enki. And I'll be taking the exam remotely, which means that I won't have to go to any uh, Cisco authorized center to take the exam. It just saves time, saves money because I don't have to go anywhere. I'm just going to take from the comfort of my house. Okay, so that's for Cisco and Core. And this is the exam that I really will have to take. Now for Fortinet, there are two exams that I plan to take. I don't have to, so probably I'll take or not, but I'll definitely have the training for those exams. So one of them is um, LAN Edge, and this is for network security specialist. So I'm not sure, but there are two exams that you have to take. So one is the enterprise firewall, and that's the core exam. And the other one is the LAN edge. Now, the reason why I want to take this training is because I've been dealing with some customers and they've been using or they use a lot of Fortinet products. And Fortinet, well, I'm able to manage, I can handle them, but there are some products, uh, especially the ones related to wireless that I don't have much experience. So I will take the training, but I don't think if I'll have to take the exam. Now, I want to make this very clear. Why for Cisco I'll take the exam and why for Fortinet I won't take an exam. I believe that when you take an exam, you're saying that you are a specialist and you are certified that you are really a specialist on that topic, on that exam that you took. So for me, I don't want to invest a lot of time on taking exams or certifications that uh, I really don't have to. It's just a matter of making great or best use of my time. And so, for especially nowadays, I don't want to waste time just taking certifications that won't add value uh, to my resume or to my professional career. Okay, so this is just the way I look at the exams now. So. I will definitely take the training, but probably I won't take the exam. And for Fortinet, well, uh, the NSE, so the Enterprise Firewall and LAN Edge, they focus around 40 Gate, 40 Manager, 40 Analyzer, and also 40 Access Point, and also 40 Switch, so all 40, 40, 45. And some of these products, uh, I can use them just on Pnet. Okay. Now for trainings also, uh, these are some of the products or technologies that I really need to keep them fresh. I need to review the concepts. Uh, the first one being A10. Now, if you don't know A10, it is a load balancer. Uh, so it's been a while since I don't cover this. I probably I haven't covered this in the channel at all. So I want to take a training on A10. So probably this year you will not probably you will definitely see 
anything related to A10 and the same for F5. So F5 is also a lot of balanced product um, and it's been a while since I cover anything related to F5. Well, it seems like most of you only enjoy or mostly enjoy Cisco content. So probably this is one of the reasons. Uh, the other one will be checkpoint. Um, in the last, I would say months, I haven't touched at all on a checkpoint product. Uh, and so it's been some time. So I don't want to forget those skills. I uh, will also take some training related to the new technologies around checkpoint. Hopefully there are some new technologies. So one person that actually has been covering a lot of checkpoint lately uh, is my friend Magnus. Uh, he has a YouTube channel. I'll share his channel in the video description. So if you want to jump right into the latest news around checkpoint, just check his YouTube channel as well. Another firewall that I'll be covering this year. It's been on my list actually for years and this year is going to be a priority. It's going to be WatchGuard. So WatchGuard is also another vendor. It is a firewall and the goal is just to show you, look, this is just one new product, but as long as you understand the technology, like I always say here in the channel, learn the technology and then just understand the product for each vendor. So you also see some content related to WatchGuard. And the other one, it's Waza, Waza, Waza. Anyway, it is an IDS or IPS, IDS, IPS and XDR uh, open source solution. So it is used to detect threats on the network and it's free. Uh, I've been playing a little bit uh, last year, but nothing too crazy. And I'll be probably cover some um, videos around this technology so that you can learn as well in case you want to dive uh, into cybersecurity. I believe that cybersecurity, network security, is the same thing, just different language. So it's kind of just to uh, give you a broader knowledge around the technology that you might find in a company. Whether you use it in your company or not, that this is something really useful to learn for the future. And lastly will be CCDE. Now, CCDE, I don't plan to take an exam at all because I don't think uh, it's going to be beneficial, at least for me at this moment. Uh, but definitely I want to take a look at the content related to CCDE. So if you don't know what CCDE, it is more um, designed for those who want to be uh, acting as an architect solution uh, guy. So you don't spend actually you don't have to configure the devices at all. So you're, or you're an expert who understands the technology and is able to provide solution for companies uh, from the design, the investment, how much it will cost based on the customer requirements. How can you translate that into a technical solution? And then someone will implement that solution. So this is uh, something that I've been doing uh, like for a decade now but I just want to really dive deeper into uh, the technical aspects, uh, the details of this. And Cisco has the CCDE. It was initially my goal to also take the CCDE, but uh, I don't, at least at this time, I don't see that it's going to improve my career in a way, but definitely it is great to just look into the contents, what they have to teach, because this might be helpful in some way or another. So briefly, this is what I want to share with you. And I hope that you can use it as a reference to, to plan your 2024 to be that year, the year that you're going to achieve the things. And if you get any value from this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.